Hey YouTube, this is Aman and in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to set up Amazon Certificate Manager with Elastic Gold Balancer with Nginx HTTP to HTTPS. So actually I did the uh, same tutorial about a year ago, but just about in Apache server, but uh, it was uh, incomplete about actually. So many guys, many of you guys actually complaining about that if uh, I'm having some problem with that one. Also, there is massive change in certificate manager. So let's get started. So I changed my uh, domain DNS to route 53, and here is the domain. And uh, to request for Amazon certificate, you guys already know about Amazon certificate. It's actually a free certificate for a year, and no, uh, no need to go for renew renewal it's actually getting out renewal from Amazon and it's actually good stuff from Amazon and uh, I added all of my DNS records in here to uh, to request your certificate they will uh, they did verify you or to um, whatever uh, what I say uh, domain verification that to, to get your certificate so if you uh, have email server of your domain you will get a uh, uh, received three mail I guess uh, which is a administrator at your domain name postmaster at your domain name webmaster at your domain name postmaster at your domain name and admin at your domain name there is a five email address you can you might get a verification message so make sure you have a, a email server set up on your domain first to receive Amazon certificate verification mail so as I have domain uh, set up with mail server, so I'm good to go with certificate manager. In certificate manager, uh, I already uh, issued the certificate. Uh, I'll also show you how to request certificate. Just request certificate and add your domain name like yaksomhall.com and add another name which is uh, www.yaksomhall.com or if you have uh, any long term planning then you can add wildcard entry for example I think uh, let me look so you have to add all of your domain name records uh, in here then you can request uh, review and request uh, the validation process need to uh, verify your mail so as I have already done this process it will take few minutes that's why I done it few many uh, days ago so now the main part is in uh, Amazon console, uh, EC2 console. So let's go to the Amazon EC2 console. Here I have already deployed a instance, which is uh, Nginx server, and I already in uh, already in server. Here is the server, and I already installed Nginx. So basically after installing nginx you can see that uh, apt get installed nginx and i have already installed nginx you can install nginx php and uh, mysql so i already installed my php too you need to install mysql because i don't need it right now Uh, PHP also installed and what you have to do is uh, I'm gonna set a basic um, uh, basic setup in here which is uh, you can see that I made a directory in bar www and HTML here you can see index.php there was uh, uh, there was name which was is this file was here in nginx index.nginx.dbin.html so I copy a file name it which file is uh, php so if you see that cat index.php or whatever index. so let's begin from the uh, from web file just remove the index file and we will create a new one nano uh, file name sorry location I'm already in location actually there it is and HTML let's create index.html and this is test web server file control X and press Y 
so if you now want to restart the nginx server start this nginx restart and we need to modify nginx server configuration the default configuration i remove the default configuration too now Nginx type available default. Uh, I actually removed the default configuration and just minimize the repos. Actually, this stuff I will explain later. Let's remove this one right now. So, this is actually basic Nginx that uh, comes with pre installed Nginx. So, I just added the server name. You can add the server name or IP address of your. Uh, instance so let's put the instance I produce in here or you can put your uh, domain name in here so basically I did nothing just I put here that uh, I added uh, the location root for simulator server so basically this is actually comes with pre-installed uh, engine so con let's control X Y so if we go to the IP address of server that means the test file should come so it should be HTTP or I have to restart actually I think this browser cache issue so I rather open Okay, here is Chrome. You can see that this is the test web server file. This is working and it's actually not secure. So, our task is to set up uh, Amazon certificate in here. So, we would go now Amazon Management Council and with IP address. And I have uh, attached with. Um, the port 80, port port 3, and the SSH access of the server, the security group actually, which is this one, inbound rules, so let's can see that, port 80, 22, and this is optional, I did just for some reason, and HTTPS, so go ahead to load balancer, and the create load balancer, and here is the previous generation, we need to actually work with HTTP or HTTPS, so create, and here you have to give a name of your load balancer name so I always suggest to use lower case later in here so I'm gonna use put logger db and the vpc that you're using I'm actually default using default vpc and the load balancer protocol make sure the protocols you added http to http and https to http so next you get um, the load balancer protocol and next we assign security group the existing one is LAMP, LMP that I actually created previously and the security group and the certificate the STM I have already if you have a certificate from a third party provider you can upload it but I have already existing from Amazon so I'm going to select this one and check study uh, health check here you have see that index.html you can keep it as we have index.html file in here but uh, I'm gonna remove this one just put this one so you would, your instance will always help health check fast you don't have to worry about that so net x uh, add each two instance lemp and add tag Review and create and create and it should take few minutes to propagate. In instance you can see that out of service, so we have to wait few minutes, at least one to two minutes I think. Okay. So uh, the service should be uh, in service. So let's wait few minutes in here. So we are back. Uh, it's the status is come to in service. So that means uh, our instance is uh, working with uh, uh, Elastic Load Balancer. So 
here in the section you can see the DNS name so we would copy the DNS name and open a new tab so you can see that it comes up and if we use HTTPS it's also listening because we added the listening file copy link location and HTTPS Yeah, this is actually warning because the site name is actually not matched with uh, blogger that's on the CD. So that's why I have to create exception. So this is actually uh, the confirmation that uh, both the listeners actually working. So now what we're gonna do is now our load balancer is working. So we go to start a route 53 and open the Hosted zone and we will create two records. So the first record should be the A records. The A record should be on a Alice and it should be it should take two minutes to show up all your two load balancer uh, records in here. Create a record. Okay, the, it's, it's showing here. So you have to select the load balancer that you added got from here. This one actually showing here. That's why we need to add this one. And it should be keep empty, or you can add a clip. But I'm gonna keep it empty and create. And now we're gonna add WW record for WW redirect. WW record, and the value should be or it should be seen in and well, it should be the main domain name and create. And now, if we enter put blog address from the BD, we should from the BD. You can see that this is a PS server, but it's actually HTTP. But we're gonna test it as HTTPS. And it's HTTP isn't working, and you can see that verified by Amazon. But you actually must be looking for that. Uh, if I could uh, forward my traffic to HTTP to HTTPS, so that's actually main point of uh, the certificate of Amazon. So let's go to the instance. For uh, I'm actually making this tutorial for uh, Nginx. So if you have a uh, Apache or IIS or whatever Tomcat you're using. You have to find the solution. I got the solution from this guy. Uh, actually, helped me to set up uh, HTTPS array, uh, HTTPS forward. This guy tutorial actually really good. I really appreciate that his tutorial. And you can see that the whole tutorial of uh, Amazon Certificate Manager is posted in here. And this is actually the part that we're looking for for HTTPS forward. So we're gonna copy this code. And enter in uh, Nginx configuration. So now, if you see the Nginx, so it's uh, type is available and default. Here we're gonna add in server block. block. Uh, I'm gonna just beautify the script. And I think that's it. So control X, Y, service in Genix. And if uh, service restart, let's see, the service is restart now. And if we refresh the page now, it should be redirect to automatic HTTPS. So this is actually how the tutorial works. Your certificate is uh, Amazon in about a year. So this is about our today's video tutorial. And if you have any question about tutorial, let me know in the comment section. And thanks for watching this video.